Hey guys, so good morning, first and foremost, and happy full moon. So I never really do this, but I really felt called to come on here and talk to you guys about something that I experienced last night and something that is really a sign of the times and something that I feel like we need to be cautious and aware of. So I took some time out to go meet up with my friends for dinner. We went to this amazing spot. Of course, when you're hanging out with that with your girls, it kind of escalates. So we end up going to a club where we're like dancing around and whatnot. This is just a normal club where people dance, they drink, they have a good time, nothing crazy. Um, the DJ's spinning and there's TV screens, flat screens all around the area that we're at. Well, I start noticing that on the TV screens, so there's TV screens all over this club, and it's usually a good vibe spot. That's one of the reasons why we were there. But for whatever reason, the, the club or the DJ or whoever decides to blast symbols on the, on the screens of the sign of the devil or the sign of Lucifer all over the club, and it's just flashing, 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 flashing. So it's the upside down pentagram. It's in flames, and then if you look closer, there was this um, face in the center that clearly was demonic. I mean, as a person who studies esoteric symbolism, that's what I do. That's what I'm passionate about along with astrology and tarot. Um, I noticed that stuff right away. And as a sensitive person, I will see that. And like, as soon as it flashes up, I will be aware because I'm constantly scanning my environment and I'm aware of the energy of the places that I'm at. To me, this is really concerning. Um, after pulling the astrology charts, which is something that I've talked to you guys about for a while, after pulling the astrology charts, we're in times where we are very, very spiritually sensitive. And things like music, affirmations, mantras, um, they are things that are embedding in our subconscious. I literally just got off the phone. I was talking to my mom about this and telling her my experience last night. And she was like, yeah, so apparently she's going to send me the um, the, the article, but, or the, whatever it was that she was watching, she was watching, um, something about the United Nations, like they were promoting peace, but the symbolism that they were using to promote peace was also demonic, was also, um, evil in nature. And I just feel like in today's times, you guys, we need to be so aware. We need to be so hyper vigilant of where we're at, what we're seeing. What's bothering me is how subtle, this these symbols are you know they're showing up in our music they're showing up in mainstream and they're becoming like new normal but when you take that which that's a problem all by itself but when you take that and you mix it with music and when you take take it and mix it with government or organizations or things that are established to protect the people we have a bigger issue and it is happening so rampant like it's happening everywhere so I just really felt called this morning to come on and talk to you guys about this and just be like, we, I, I want to remind you to be very tuned into your own sensitivities and tuned into your environment. Don't go looking for it, but when it shows itself, make a note of it and, and definitely be aware. I want to really strongly remind you guys that it may all seem like it's fun. It may all seem like it's light and it's insignificant, but sigils and symbols hold power to them. And I will say that I was looking around at the crowd and the music was just going. They're playing a combination of today's hits, which I don't know about because I usually listen to Bossa Nova or whatever else they know that I'm, that I'm listening to. But... Um, there was this one guy who had his hand, literally he had his one hand pushed up on the DJ booth and like, like receiving it and bowing his head, like going with his head like this, which is fine if you're just feeling the music and you're feeling the vibe, but above his head is the sig the sigil of Basphemit. Like I want to also say that in order for there to be any possessions or in order for there to be a shift in your subconscious, you would have to first energetically be open to it. It's one thing to be aware, but it's another thing to be open to it. How 
they can make you open to it so that you're receptive to receiving these energies is by it's being fun, it's giving you pleasure, it's something that's exciting, which could show up and it's really um oftentimes they use things like music. And who is they? Like who is behind all of this? Like that's the other thing too. Like who is behind all of this? But they'll use things like music where you're just open to it, you're receptive, you're dancing and you're having a good time. You want it. So you don't realize what it is that you are spiritually, energetically, mentally, emotionally, and ultimately physically consuming. And that's a really, that's a really big problem. Neptune in Pisces is a very vulnerable place. Um, it's a very powerful place for humanity, but it's also a very vulnerable place. And I just want to encourage you guys to stay prayed up, to stay protected, to do your research. Don't just say yes to anything. When your vibes are off or if something doesn't feel right, don't, you can be the person who stands up and says, you know what, mm, I don't know if this is it, you know, and then find your way out. One thing that really helps is grounding yourself in nature. Nature is never going to be there to hurt you and harm you. It's going to give so much to you. And prayer, meditation, and connecting with the cosmos is something that really does give and serve your, your, your spirit and all of your bodies. So, you know, I'm sending you guys all of my love. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I just wanted to share my experience. And if you guys, I really have been feeling so called lately to do more podcasts, uh, uh, definitely about, um, the energy of the world that we're in right now and just how cautious like we all need to be. Um, I would post the photo of the sigil that I saw last night, um, but honestly, I don't want it on my feed. You can check it out or Google it if you want. It's very, I don't think that it's a bad thing to inform yourself by doing research, but I don't think that anybody should sit in it and absorb it. Um, especially the fact that it was on fire too. That's how you channel, that's, that's how you call in that energy, that's how you call in the darkness. Not the good darkness, you know? Like there's that thing with like, you know, us exploring our shadow side. This is the bad darkness. Like we don't want this darkness. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really feeling called to talk more about what's been happening lately. Not to freak anybody out, but just, I love you guys so much. Thank you for sitting with me this morning. Um, well, it's 12 o'clock, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, happy full moon. I will be working intention as always. Speaking of good energy and good vibes, that's what I'll be doing tonight. Um, last full moon of the year, so it's going to be a good one. It should be a good one. Very revealing, but very powerful. And we're going to end this year with a beautiful bang and lay all of the past year to rest and open up to the potential of the new year. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I'm sending you all my love. We're in this together. <laughs> Keep your vibe high. Keep your vibe high. Not everything is for you, and that's not a bad thing.
This is the new statue for the United Nations that they're saying is the guardian of peace. The symbolism is not only found in the Bible as the mark of the beast, but it's also found in the Wheel of Fortune card and the World card as a mark of the end times.